Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful, blessed Sunday. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a multitask kind of um, tag. I saw Mama B, um, Mama B's Kitchen, and I saw Brana's on a budget, you know, combining, you know, various tags together. And I was like, ha ha. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> that's a great idea so I wanted to come on and do First Lady Lisa Dukes hey boo how you doing um, she tagged me for two different tags the first one was what I would tell my younger self challenge that was the what I would tell my younger self tag okay and then her second one was YouTube rewind but I'm not sure I got all her questions that she was asking us. So I'm just going to do the best that I can. First of all, I have all this written down in case y'all see me looking down. And, you know, because I had to. Because at first I had so much stuff written down for what would I tell my younger self. But I, I tried to make it as brief as possible. The first thing I would tell my younger self would be never allow anyone to validate you. Oh, I don't want to get in, you know, drag this out, but Lord have mercy. When I think about how much time I wasted in my life allowing other people's opinion about myself to impact me and affect me in negative ways, if I could reach my foot up to my own behind, I would kick myself in the behind. So that would definitely be don't allow anyone to validate you. The second one would be another don't allow others to dim your light. Just be you, boo. If other people can't take your shine, tell them to put some sunglasses on or get away from you, whatever. Once again, I wasted a lot of time in my lifetime, you know, dimming my light because others were negatively affected, you know, or... Y'all know what I'm talking about. That jealousy, envy, and strife. It's a mother. Anyway, it's Sunday. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> so that would be number two. Number three would be live for today. Because tomorrow's not promised to any of us. Again, I wasted so much time thinking about the future. Worrying about my weight. Just not enjoying my life. Always, always looking to tomorrow or the next day. And it wasn't even promised to me, you know. And instead of just enjoying my life and having fun, if I want some ice cream, damn it, sit down. Sorry, Lord, it's Sabbath. Sit down and have a bowl of ice cream. You don't have to eat ice cream every day. But if you want a bowl of ice cream, sit down and eat a bowl of ice cream. It took me 58 years to learn this. <sighs> Ivy, the vapors. <laughs> anyway, that's definitely one of my pet peeves, okay? So, living for today, you know, and stop worrying about tomorrow when tomorrow's not even promised to any of us. And the fourth thing, it would be basically just a synopsis of all the three prior would be stop tripping or allowing others to cost you to cause you to trip so basically once again just stay in your own lane do you boo and stop looking around stop watching others take care of yourself if you spend a fraction of the time taking care of yourself you will find that you have no time to look around and worry about what others are doing how much better they're doing how much not better they're doing etc etc just do you boo stay in your own lane and enjoy your life to the fullest because honey in a blink of an eye it could be gone okay so we're gonna move right on to <clears throat> What is she saying this is? This is a YouTube rewind tag, y'all. So the questions, again, I wasn't sure because Lady Dukes had that blue wig on and I don't know. I was trying to, I kept rewinding the tape and rewinding the tape trying to see what she was saying, but I did my best. And I think the first one was, 
when did you start your YouTube channel? And I've been on YouTube since 2013, but I didn't actually start my channel until a year ago um, this month. I just got a congratulations from YouTube for um, my anniversary for being on YouTube for a year. And I still don't know exactly what day because I just kind of looked at it and go, oh, okay. You know, <laughs> they said something. Uh, I don't know if they're sending me something. I don't know. But I've been on my, I established my YouTube channel a year ago this month. Okay. Um, how much, how have your skills improved on YouTube? Well, I just think of it as a journey, a continuous journey. I can literally say that every day I learn something new and when you're self teaching yourself it's so much more complicated because you know I worked all my life you know I don't know a hill of beans about most of this stuff you know so it's improving it has improved a lot my confidence level from my very first videos to my to my present videos now I still lack a little confidence I still wish I was more just flipsy floppy and just come on and just boom boom bang you know <laughs> but you know I still lack a little you know confidence um, I'm just trying to find me and then trying to do me I don't want to emulate anyone else I mean I may take a little here and a little there but I always give them an honorable mention hey brown eyes on a budget does BAM <laughs> You know, I'm always giving everybody their props if I should use something from, you know, their blogs or channels. But for the most part, I just want to establish my own form, my own style and just go with it. When I began YouTube, I used to go, well, what am I going to say? What opening am I going to have? Blah, 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 yada, yada. And just gradually, God just told me what to say, you know. Love, peace, and happiness. Hey, my beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Bam! <laughs> Alright, Brown Eyes on a Budget. Y'all gotta go check her channel out. She is awesome. But yeah, so it's things like that. The slowly but surely, if you give it time and you be patient, you'll see that God will help you, you know, establish your own form, your own style. This is Sweet Sadie J's channel. I don't want other people's, you know stuff on it. I want my authenticity, you know, so yeah. And, um, as the more you do anything, the more your confidence will increase. So if you will go all the way back to see my very first video, <laughs> you know, and then you look at my videos now, I'm up here with Santa hats on and I'm saying honk honk with the red noses. <laughs> These things, I mean, I have gone from, you know, <laughs> A to Z, so, but there's always room for improvement. You never stop learning as long as you live. You never stop learning, and I'm glad about that because I have so much stuff that I want to learn how to properly use my camera, how to do the effects and the voice and the um, volume and the vocal stuff. So, yeah, there's just so much stuff that I still want to learn, and I will in due time so you just got to be patient okay so i think her third question was what was one of my favorite videos i think i have two top favorite videos let me see if i can get my phone um one of them was my very my very very favorite um video was one of the vlogs that I made when I was reviewing my curl kit box and excuse me and they used part of my vlog from reviewing my curl kit box in the commercial on Instagram. I'm going to try to pull it up and show you for it because I saved it. Let me say. Okay. If you are newly natural, this box will be perfect for you. Even if you are a veteran natural, it's still a great box. It helps you figure out what products work for your hair. For $20, $5 shipping, it's a good deal. So, good job, Curl Kit, this month for these products. I'm definitely excited. I'm very thrilled with this month's box, and I hope they only get better and better. I love Curl Kit. <laughs> See? That is one of my, my absolute... 
Sorry, y'all. One of my absolute, absolute favorite videos, okay? Simply because they used me in their commercial on Instagram. And I think my second favorite video would be when I did the, um, the quote-unquote commercial for the Vita Energy Mints that everybody else did after I did mine. So, <laughs> zing, no. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that would be another one of my very, very favorite um, videos that I did was um, the advertisement for the Vita Energy Mints, but Curl Kit definitely trumps them all. That is by far my top favorite. Okay, what was my least favorite? I would say my least favorite was the one on my depression, you know, just being so vulnerable and letting everybody see, you know, you know, but I would think off the top of my head right now, that would probably be the least favorite of mine, but hey, this is life, okay? Number five is like, what have I learned on YouTube? A lot of things, but I pretty much knew them before I even started. That's why I was so apprehensive. But as most of you know, my story, I started YouTube as therapy for my severe depression. So, but I also realized that there was, uh, you have to be extremely thick skinned and there were going to be times when people were going to say such Un, I mean, such cruel and hateful things and just, you know, try to break you down like most people do. And you have to be, sorry, you have to be, uh-oh, did my camera go up? Sorry. Yeah, you have to be extremely thick skin. Gird up your suit of armor, immerse yourself in your scriptures every day, and just trust God because what God has for you is for you. And I don't care how many ugly people, naysayers, unsupportive people, you know, I got a lot of people watching my YouTube channel right now that won't even tell me they're watching. I don't even know if they're actually subscribed to me or not, but it's okay because this is a public platform and everybody gets to see it, you know, so... Just like I said, just, just trust God and do you. I enjoy what I do. Everything that I talk about on here is interesting to me and I hope and pray that it's interesting to others. And then, you know, some of my videos don't get a whole lot of um, numbers and then others will go through the roof. But that's how YouTube is, you know. But... For the most part, this is a hobby. This is therapy. If I can make a little piece of change off of it, sure, why not? As long as it doesn't affect my disability, I'm cool, you know? So that's what I've learned on YouTube. And I didn't think I got number six question. I kept rewinding and I never did get the six question. But I think number seven was, have we seen all your vlogs? Mm, yeah, anything that I've produced and made, yeah, I've uploaded them whether I liked them or not, especially in the beginning. The beginning was terrible. Oh, hi, my name is Sweet Sadie. <laughs> when I go back and I see those first vlogs, I'll be like, oh, you <laughs> And I think her last question was, what are you looking forward to in 2019? Um, in 2019, I'm looking forward to making it to 2019, okay? <laughs> if that's God's choice. I, I count it all joy, whether I do or I don't, because I believe in my heart that if I leave this world today, I'm going to be with Jesus. So, it's all joy either way. But if, to th if I do live to make it to 2019, of course... You just want everything to be better than it was in 2018. You want to be happy. You want to have enough money. You know you want a nice roof over your head, etc., etc., etc. So there's nothing specific that I want. You know, whatever God wants to bless me with is what I want. You know, so that is my YouTube rewind tag and also my what I would tell my younger self tag. Bye, First Lady Lisa Dukes. Mwah. Love you, girl. But that is the end of my vlog. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Y'all like my Santa hat? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, guys, remember, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Happy Vlogmas. Bye, guys. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, rock. Jingle bells.